Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Anecta University, which is uh, a portion of Anecta, it's a, it's a part of what we do, uh, is going to have a bootcamp. Uh, it's a Dynamics NAV bootcamp. So in the video's description, this video, uh, there is going to be a link. So go ahead and click on that link if you're interested in this uh, and you can sign up. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug Tutorials. Um, we're going to dive a little bit into uh, reporting, especially uh, account categories or subcategories. Um, I should have basically talked about this when we did the, uh, the reporting uh, deep dive, but I didn't really go into the account category. So let, let me just run into this right away here. Uh, we have something called account subcategory on the chart of accounts, right? This appeared about, uh, I think, version 2016 or something like that, maybe 17. And it was kind of nice to take a look at this. Uh, you can now kind of filter by accounts receivable, prepaid expenses, inventory, all of that. These uh, are predefined. So actually, if I go into the account itself, um, you can see we have account category and account subcategory. So you can only specify a predefined list here. This is not something you can create like with the account schedules. This is already fixed. So in, within assets, we have accounts receivables, etc. Actually, the account category here underneath the asset, you can generate yourself. Um, but the subcategory, actually, you can create yourself. But the account category is fixed. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at what, what is the use of this? I mean, this is, of course, great to categorize. I was thinking in Power BI, we can now take this out and report and kind of put things in the right places, etc., etc. But what, what else uh, can we do? So if I actually go into finance here, I can find uh, a pager called GL account categories. So if I get into those, uh, here I get a list of the categories that have been set up. And if I want to take a look at the assets, I can now get subcategory and I get into like sub subcategory. <laughs> um, so this is kind of a tree representation of your chart of accounts, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, I like this. This is uh, nice. Now, one thing that's really cool as well is I can see which accounts fall into this category here. Of course, there's a filter here, but the filter only says so much. Here actually lists it out. And I can also see which accounts do not have a category. If I forgot to categorize something, then that would show up here. I think that's tremendously valuable. Uh, so as long as I categorize everything, uh, there shouldn't be anything here. But if I miss something, then it shows up here. So why is that so important that we have everything with a category? And I think this is really the kicker of account uh, categories. If I go here into general ledger setup, all right, and I go into reporting, I can see that there is some standard account schedule set up, right, for uh, balance, income, cash flow, retained earnings, etc. So what does that mean? I'm going to show you. So if I actually go out of this uh, and go in here, so just go ahead and I hit here edit list. Um, now I'm going to change the way the, the categories work. I have something here called generate account schedules. So when I click on that and I go into account schedules, there are some new account schedules, and I'm sure if you notice this, if you play around with Cronus, that start with M in here. Those are the account schedules that are set up in the general ledger or general ledger setup, um, which tie to these GL account categories. So if I go into the M income statement and take a look at that, this is coming from 
the account category list. It's auto-generated basically, or I can generate it with by going into that edit uh, on the previous set. So I'm going to show you how that works. If I actually go in here, go back, and I'm going to create a new um, category. I'm going to call it coffee sales. Okay, no one would put coffee sales like that on their account schedules, except me, <laughs> because I am actually in a fictional um, demo. Anyways, so generate account schedules, bam, what happened? No message, no nothing, but something did happen. If I go into the account schedules, go into my income statement, hit edit, whoops, actually I'm just going to go into overview, that's better, overview. You can see that the coffee sales come up here, automatically generated. So what's good about this? Let's trace back. First of all, we get an automatic income statement right here. That's great. Secondly, um, one of the problems sort of with account schedules is that if you forget to put a, an account in there, the account schedule doesn't balance out, especially for income statement balance sheet and stuff like that. The reason for that is that uh, they're so flexible, you don't really need to use them for only income statements, balance sheet, you can use them for anything. But at the same time, they don't tell you if you're missing an account. So if I actually do it this way, and I make sure that there are no GL accounts without categories, right here, and I have made sure I don't have any, then all of the GL accounts are included in your automatic statements there which means that you're always going to have perfect account schedules as far as income statement, balance sheet, etc. So this is kind of dummy proof to make financial statements. Uh, as long as you put everything into categories, subcategories, um, and set anything up here, you have nothing missing in missing category. You generate the account schedules, boom, you have your income statement balance sheet. So I think that's the kicker for GL account categories. That is the good part. Um, of course, I'm gonna, you know, kind of shoot at Microsoft a little bit. Would be nice to be able to drill into the balance. Can't do that here. So maybe an update would be nice on that one. Uh, but in any case, I think I really like this. Uh, it's, it's a good ad and probably one of those that's not advertised enough uh, when people are setting up the system. Anyways, I hope you got something out of this. Um, Thumbs up if you like this, subscribe if you haven't, uh, until next time, thank you.